Hi everybody, I'm excited to talk to you today about our 2020 line of fins. This is the Paul de Gelder Bionic AF fin. There's actually two different designs uh, using two different types of material, which I'll talk to you about in just a moment. But both of these fins are ultra lightweight, they're carbon fiber. Uh, they're lighter weight than most carbons because we use a resin transfer mold when we, we set these up and that sucks all the resin through the mold only leaving enough to bond the carbon and it uh, creates an ultra lightweight carbon fiber. It has a really smooth consistent uh, flex to it and uh, again the lightweight is the, is the big thing. So these are small enough to fit into the carry-on. Of course they're light, that makes it nice for the carry-on as well but it also makes it a lot more efficient. And the reason why is because finning is a start-stop motion. We, we start at the bottom of our stroke, we have our power stroke, and then, and then reverse the direction and, and recovery stroke. And every time we start and stop, we have to move that weight. So the less weight we have to move, the easier that is to do. And that's why lightweight fins are super efficient. The challenge is getting the rigidity right when you have a lightweight fin. So you see a lot of fins are really thick, um, TPE or monoprene or rubber even. It makes a really heavy fan. Um, the other thing that we do with both of these fans, they're, they're patterned after our TAC and our military TAC, which is our red label TAC fan. They, they have that same shape. It's been super successful. And the reason why is that we, we pull the fin back. It's a quite it's a short fin. And that means there's less leverage working against the diver. So every stroke is a little bit easier. We also have an open toe, and that allows us to, to get a big bite with a short fin because we have a working fin underneath your toes. It's a little bit different to get used to, uh, and it feels a lot different, and it actually is different. It doesn't transfer the load like a closed toe fin does through your shins and into your hip flexors. Rather, it goes um, into your heel and then up through the quadriceps. The material on these two fins, <clears throat> one's a uh, omnidirectional and one's a bidirectional. So they look a little bit different. This is an omnidirectional fin. The omnidirectional fin has more rigidity one way. So when I'm turning sideways, I don't want the fin to fold over like a sail. It makes it really hard to, be, uh, to maneuver. It makes it not very agile. This fin is super rigid side to side. It's really hard to bend. But this direction, it's much easier to bend. The bidirectional fin is equal all directions on how rigid it is. So we chose a little more rigid fin, um, and that is equally on, on the side to side. So this would be for younger guys, people, uh, or if you're fighting a big current, this is a great way to go. And for most diving, the omnidirectional is a, is a really fantastic way to go. It comes with our, our uh, proprietary spring strap that fits on any 916 post, but uh, these have just been a fantastic fin in the TAC, in the military TAC. And we're really excited to add them to the Paul DeGelder Bionic 